Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Glacier Kano here today to play Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin on Xbox One. And that was, that was as close as I could actually be <laughs> making myself to being like the same, occupying the same space as this Pelgrim Belclare. It's hard to say that. It's really hard to say Pilgrim, I think. Unless you're saying like Scott Pilgrim versus the world, which we are two of that one person's evil exes or something. I, I don't know, but yeah, I noticed like after last time, I'm pretty sure that I didn't actually mention it, that yeah, there's there's another, uh, the summon sign's actually back and better than ever here. So I might want to take this now or might want to take it a bit later. But I mean, I'll probably rest at the bonfire again anyway, so I mean, I might as well just take her now, despite the fact- Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Now we know. Now we know. I really thought that you could just take her through areas. Oh, sad face. So very much sad faces inbound. So, then maybe there's another boss lower down. I, I wonder if you could actually take- no, that's probably still out of the area too. Like, I was thinking that maybe you could take her down to, like, the Chandra or something like that. But, I mean, that wouldn't really... That wouldn't work! It wouldn't work! I don't know. Also, I think this is, like, the worst way, potentially, to go in here because of that bow guy. So, I think I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna go the other way. And that's usually the way out. But, yeah, so I'm gonna be going through this area today. Into the innards of Drang Lake Castle. I really can't say anything, can I? <laughs> yes, I want to see if I can pull it. I probably can't right now, can I? Because uh, you need to get... Oh, no! I thought there was supposed to be an invisible wall. I'm just not being careful today. <laughs> it's a good way to start. Good way to start. If you die first, then you won't feel bad when you die later. Yeah? Or I'm just not going to die from now on. That's generally the way of things going. But, yeah, a good way to start the day. Is just with a little bit of death. Oh boy. At least I still have like yeah, 16 of my human effigies, so that's not terrible. I mean, it's not good, but it's not terrible. If only I could just see like everybody else's blood stains. But I really remember like maybe on the Xbox 360 version there was an invisible wall, or I was just a lot more careful. I probably was more careful. Let's just say that. But I'm just, I have the cocky arrogance of just like, I've been through this so many times, you know, that I know everything. Totally know everything. So much to the point that I go back down the ladder again. So I was going to say that there's like an invisible wall right here. And when I say invisible wall, I mean like, uh, illusionary one, but... Let's just go through here and just explore. That's the main idea today, I'm just going to explore. Um, hmm. Now, which one's come to life? That's always the question. I think this one. This one? I think it's this one. This one? I'm just gonna run through all of them now. Either that or they all come to life at once, and then I get screwed. Whoa! Oh, there's a ghost! That's different, right? To be honest, like, I did go through still on the Xbox 360 version, because, I mean, I like to go ahead a little bit first and foremost. On that version, you know, with my strength hex and just see what there is to see. Hey, hey you. Look over here. Oh, okay, that person is looking at me now. I'm now going to run inside here. There we go. This is going to be perfect. Well, bam Oh, you want some of this too? Ah! That was, that was a dumb idea, but whatever. It was just barely dumb enough to work. But yeah, I went through this area a long, long time ago through, uh, like, Xbox 360, because I'm just like, I'm gonna go right here, right now. I'm not gonna take a big, brief break from uploading it onto YouTube and stuff like that. No, no, no. So... Oh wait, do I need another person to kill here? I honestly don't remember. Uh, but I mean, it sounds like something's moving. Something great is moving. I want to see what this says. Sorcery. And weapon. I'm 
checking these just in case, because, I mean, as always, I'm, I'm very careful, for one, yes. But the other thing, as always, there is one of these, like, there is a mimic hiding somewhere in the world that I just don't know where it is. And it's going to destroy me at some point. Also, I just remembered what that actually does. Um, I wasn't paying attention to what the sorcery was, because, I mean, I, I don't really need it, but I like to collect things anyway. Yeah, because, I mean, what happens is that uh, when you do that, it actually lowers the platform that I, I died on. Under. Balls. Uh, cells word. Oh, he's one of my favorites. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it just in case, but I'm pretty sure there's no illusionary walls here. I'm pretty sure. Horse. Okay. But at least I do have one of my uh, helper buddies around. That I might want to take, but then again, like... Whoa, man, there is a horse. What? That is 100% different. Okay, he has a little bit of damage. And he uses hexes. I'm just trying to learn a little bit about this horse. <laughs> or, you know, instead of learning something about the horse, why not just do things my way? Can I lock... There we go. Hey, horse! How do you feel about praising the sun? Um, well, I think he likes to praise the sun. A little bit. But at the same time... Why is there a horse here? Why is there a horse? It scares me. So I've never seen it before. And what I, I don't know frightens me. Because I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Okay. You know what? I'm going to wait for him to gallop towards me and just destroy. In theory. Whew. It's a really good thing I used those two sunlight spears on him. Gower's Ring of Protection. Matt, I'm happy that I went this way because, I mean, I don't... This is all new to me. And that's different. So much differences. Because reduces damage taken from behind. Well, I mean, that's always a completely useful thing, isn't it? But, you know, that's why you have to just be careful. That's why you just be careful. It works in every sense of the way of describing it. Just be careful. Uh, this is the one room that is like the armory, isn't it? And then you get... Oh! Hello! We're just gonna have a stare off. Oh! Okay, I don't think that they want to have a staring contest anymore. Maybe I'll get my cells worth in a couple seconds here, but... Yeah, and I think uh, to be able to get through this door, there's like a little mechanism. Probably. Does this gargoyle come to life? Man, this entire area is just like... It's kind of freaky. It's kind of freaky a little bit. But I think I like... It. There's no puddle there. I don't know why I made so much noise. This one person thinks that they're so smart, but... Oh no! The gargoyle does come to life. Okay, gargoyle. I know who you are, and you know who I am. Well, probably, or that or he just wants to kill me just for the sake of killing. But... We... Have a truce in the Gargoyle Covenant here. We should- we should not be fighting. We should not be fighting! I probably could have died there. I probably could have died there, but oh well. It was worth it for the twinkling. Always got a twinkle. Horse. Wait. Horse again? Oh, that's where I came from. Yeah, this is- this is a very nice view. I appreciate it. That that sign actually wrote it down for me. Uh, and this one... Tight spot. Okay. Yeah, this entire bottom area right below me is just that one room. So then over to the rough. Oh, right. Is just a way. I don't remember where that even leads. I don't remember where that leads, but I know where this leads. And you know what? I probably should heal first. Yeah. Probably could actually use a great heal, but I. I'm gonna summon my guy. I'm gonna su summon him. But then again, this is a tough decision. I think I'm just going to try to clear- I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to clear out the entire area. Yeah? And keep him- well, and then I'm just going to come back and grab him. 
Because, I mean, it's possible to clear out this entire area if you're not reckless. Whoa, I'm running, I'm running. Please don't kill me. There was a ghost that was coming through there too. Which, I'm gonna great lightning spear. Yeah. How do you like that, ghost? So yeah, I'm... I don't know if I'm gonna actually do this all in one anymore. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I just don't know, but... I always have troubles with, like, these new and improved versions of, uh... These guys. Because they are definitely improved. They are improved. I can tell you that. I don't know what it is about them, but... They seem more dangerous than they used to be. Also, Dragon Charm. Oh yeah, I think that's just like one of those things that gives you luck. Same with repair powder, it just gives you luck. I mean, come on. You don't need repair powder. I mean, I do at the same time, but... Yeah, see, this is the mechanism I was looking for. So I don't think I could even have got through the front gate the other way. That's probably why I never go that way, and it is always the way I come back from. This, I think, is something good. I want to say it's something good, because, I mean... Yeah, it is! Essex Flask Shard. There's a reason why I always want to come this way. And it's not because of these people. Ah! I'm just gonna casually open this door. Yeah, hello. I want to say that there used to be another, like, enemy right here, though. I want to say that there was. But I think... I, I think they just... I think they changed it. It's completely different now. I know that it's different here that they don't have uh, an elephant man. But that looks to be... No, that's not an elephant man up there, is he? See, this is the dumb area. This is the really dumb thing to do. I always seem to die going upstairs. Pretty much always. I always do. And there's, like, nothing really that great here, either. Oh! Don't want to attack with using a great heal. Although, uh, it's a great heal is a good idea to attack with. Let's see if I can do this properly. Yeah. You just have to sidestep him. He didn't even need to roll. Especially if you're on the stairs, because, I mean, then he just swings right above your head. Okay, um... Which one is the one to go to? Messages, tell me! Try pyromancy. Um... That's... Oh, oh no, they both actually go! Do you think I could actually, uh, lure them down? You know what? I might be able to. I might be able to. I'll use one Great Lightning Spear just to soften him up. See what he- Whoa! Man, these guys are weak. These guys are weak sauce. As the kids call it. Oh! As I say that, then he's probably gonna kill me, so... What if I should just use my, use my bow? Today's a cowardly day. I am the cowardly lion. Fear me! I said fear me! So my bow does so much electricity, you don't even know. Okay. One at a time, I can probably take him on. No problem. Because these guys actually have an easier attack pattern. <gasps> I probably should be dead. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll use the last one for a bow. Last shot's bow. But yeah. As I said, they have a pretty easy attack pattern for the most part, but... If you, as long as you actually use the attack pattern properly. I believe this one's a Mimic. Yeah. Because I know that one of them is a Mimic. I'll attack the Mimic last, because, I mean, we all know how that works out. Um, death. Just have a hard cut to me dying right there. But... This side... I think has another Mimic, right? Therefore, try chest. If this is a Mimic... Miscrint ahead? Yeah, but, I mean, if it wasn't a Mimic, then, I mean, that would be a good thing, because, I mean, this is the Mimic I was looking for. Just like the droids. Oh, yeah, Pyromancy. That's the whole reason I don't come up here. But, I mean, this time, I'm really just... I'm a collector. I'm a collector in Dark Souls 2, so a Scholar of the First Sin. I like to explore every area as much as possible, and get everything as much as possible. Yeah? I wonder if it actually... It might be a better idea to attack him from behind. Yeah! So, I mean, if you attack from the front, then uh, the Mimic has the potential to, like, grab you, or do his Kung Fu moves. Because, I mean, Mimics are ninjas, man. 
Because, I mean, he has a washing pole inside of him. And, I mean, if he has a washing pole, that means that he's a ninja, or something along those lines. Because they have, like, ninjas use washing poles, right? They're like dex weapons. But, I mean, they're not as ninja as I am. Yeah. Totally. So, this other area, like, with the door there... That might actually be, like, nothing. You might not actually go through that ever. I want to say that you don't. I just want to say you don't, yeah. Totally. And then over here, uh, I'm just gonna do a loop around, grab the key, and then after that, I'm pretty much ready to go to the boss, right? I pretty much am. I mean, I could go back to Majula and just use my souls before I go after the boss, which might be a good idea. It, it might be a good idea, but at the same time, eh. It's debatable. It's debatable. Also, I just noticed something about, like, this... The decorations are in this area. Look at all these mirrors. These mirrors are evil, man, because it's like the Looking Glass Knight that I'm going to be fighting. Which... I sometimes have troubles with. But everything at this point of the game, I, I like to say that I have troubles with it, even though... Maybe I don't? Still, it's all very, very debatable. There's a debate that I'm going to be having with the Selsworth Lewitt guy and uh, stuff like that. Also, weakness, stomach. I'm pretty sure that there are no enemies despite the fact there is that one guy that's like upside down and stuff. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I want to read the message though. Visions of tongue. Well, I mean, almost the right height. Or, like, if he was higher up, then you just do the... the Spider-Man kiss. Uh, key to the King's Passage? Yeah, that's the one that I needed. Uh, the rest of these, I think, are... What? Try attacking. I'm pretty sure there's no Mimics here, but I'm still... I'm highly cautious, because, I mean, I don't know where that one Mimic is. He could be anywhere. He really could be anywhere. Other than this one. This one's not a Mimic. Totally. Uh, strong magic shield. But that would be the best idea for a Mimic. But yeah, I might actually come back and save her later. I don't know if it actually... I think it gives me just one ring that makes it so then I look human, even if I am a hollow. I think that's all it is. But, yeah, that would be the weirdest thing for a Mimic. And, like, the worst thing ever. What you do for the Mimics, that is. Not, not for me. But the Mimics... You have the- you open the chest, you grab the item, and then, just as you're about to walk away, the Mimic just shuts down on you and starts eating you. Now that would be... a Mimic to be worried about. It could happen. I, I mean, it's somewhere in the lore of... different things in video games, there could probably be something like that. Maybe. Maybe. Try right side, or I could just try using the, the key that I just got from up above. And from here... Yep, this is just straight to the boss, so... Oh, I don't like that. That one, like, little ghost thing went right as soon as I walked through it. It's freaky, man. It's freaky. It's like this alluring skull. It's freaky. And this statue. It's freaky. Oh, well, this other guy's admiring the statue, too. It's probably because he saw my ghost looking at it. But then again, a lot of the ghosts are, like, pretty far away. Off kilter. That kind of freaked me out a little bit. That one, like, piece of cloth that's moving, it looked a little bit, um... Dragon-like. I don't know, in my opinion. Okay, so, I'm gonna be careful here. Okay, they all go at once. They all go at once. Ooh! No! Oh! Now's the time to run? I think now's the time to run. Um, I wonder if I can actually line them up and like... I don't have any lightning spears. I have a heal. Oh, I have another brilliant idea instead. Oh, they won't actually chase me down this far. If, if they could, I just bring this up and make them run into the hole. Eh, it could work. Oh, they're all gonna go back and hide too. But their health won't recharge! Okay, this one's actually the one I can kill, like, no problem. Yeah. I might actually want to use my shield here. Yeah, this- it's a good idea that I'm using my shield. 
It's very, very much a good idea. It's these guys, like the Twin Blades. Ooh. Oh, they use so much stamina to deflect. So that's the one thing that Twin Blades are really good for still. Oh, look at them. They're actually horses. I don't know if I noticed that before, if, if it is different. And that's actually a really lucky uh, pickup there. So I want to say it's it's not the easiest thing to get, is the Stone Twin Blade. But the Stone Twin Blade, nonetheless, is actually a really good weapon. Some people would say it's the best of the Twin Blades, but I don't know. It's, as always, very debatable. I think they are different, or at least that one just doesn't have a head. I think the ones that don't have heads just don't attack you. I think that's the idea. Maybe. But see, this is also the other reason to just like run backwards through a place. You see, you see light, life gems and items easier. Okay, uh, there's another item. Petrified something. Going to be very useful moving forward. Wait a second. Who's this? Ash and Knight Boyd! I don't remember if you could actually... Still, I don't remember because, I mean, I went through the this area too long ago on my Xbox 360 self-playthrough. If I wasn't playing with myself so often, then, I mean, I would be able to... I, I would I would know. I would just know. But I just play with myself too often. That's the problem. Yep. Totally happening. <laughs> oh, man. So... I wonder if I should actually... So I probably have like some sort of wilted dust curb or something like that. I, I think I might actually want to go this way completely. But if I have some wilted dust curbs and whatnot, uh, herbs and spices, I'm going to uh, get myself some lightning spears and sunlight spears. Otherwise, uh, I mean, having three NPCs is probably enough. Probably enough to like destroy this boss easily. But. You know, I, I like to have a lot of NPCs uh, summoning, because I mean, it's it makes me feel good about myself. Uh, let's let's just quickly check this, and then I'll I'll summon him. I have amber herbs, twilight herbs, and wilted dusk herbs. The ones that I probably should be using. I don't want that on my hot bar. I'm sorry. I'm doing this backwards. I'm sorry. So many mistakes. So many mistakes in my delicious eating times. Om nom nom. Yeah, I have everything just from one, so... Come on, Selsworth. I need you. Not to kill a horse, because, I mean, I already did that. I mean, like, the horse was freaky still. That horse is freaky. Is he, is he gonna follow me down, please? I just have to check, because, I mean, who knows? Who knows with these NPCs these days? Oh, man. Yeah, I want to say that door leads just nowhere. It just leads nowhere. But nowhere is a pretty nice place to go every once in a while. I'm pretty sure there is, like, a place somewhere in the world actually called Nowhere, right? Right? Miss, miss, uh, character that I'm being? <laughs> and, Selsworth? Even though his name is Selsword, but I mean... Wait, wait, wait. I can actually summon somebody? I'm not gonna summon a stupid monkey, though, because, I mean... As much as that sounds tantalizing, I'd much rather have... three NPCs. Because NPCs, that I don't need to worry about them so much. Also, that one guy wasn't a Sunbro. If he was a Sunbro, then maybe, but I mean... Well, just to help him out, not to help me, because I mean, I... I obviously already have a Sunlight Spear. <laughs> okay, Ashenite Boyd, and... The whole reason, actually, I, I would like to have three NPCs here... I'll, I'll give everybody a praise, just for fun. But, I need to have Ben Hart live through this, and then I'm still actually going to go back and uh, use him uh, in this one area. To, to, I, I just need to have him survive three boss fights, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. I don't have time to think, because, I mean, Selsworth has no time to waste! Everybody, get in here. I'm still going to use my shield, because, I mean, I'm a coward. Hey, look at me! Shields! My guys are doing absolutely nothing. Ow! Boy, that hurt. Would you mind? Would, would you mind? I have three NPCs looking directly at you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using that. I should be using my Estus. This is ridiculous. Why does he... Ugh! This is a time to... Avoid. And... You know what? 
I think they did actually fix the audio problem that they had with this boss when I played it with Search Hunter all that long time ago. Ow. I'm really bad at this boss, by the way. I'm, like, really bad at it. That's probably why he knows to go after me instead of anybody else. Ooh! <laughs> Here we go, finally. It's time to rock! And by that, I mean I'm just gonna slice him up a little bit. Oh, yeah, this is the, the attack that I don't really... Actually, it's it doesn't really matter. I mean, he does summon, like, little minions, but at the same time... We could just destroy doing this. Ow! Ow! That hurts a lot, man! Therefore, I'm gonna hide behind this pole. The pole didn't help me very much. Unfortunately enough. Oh no, I gotta- I gotta protect Ben Hart. Wait, actually he's attacking the other one, but... That's the only one I need to actually help. Woo! Cause Ben Hart, if he dies, I have to do this boss again, or another boss again. Which... Would not be, uh, delightful, uh, to say the least, but... Yeah, looking last night, you never thought that you were gonna get gang beaten today by four people. Four burly knights. And when I say burly, I'm just talking about myself. Woohoo! Oh, that's not the one I wanted. But waving also works. Yay! Achievement! Looking glass night! Defeat the looking glass night! very imaginative for an achievement there. Has a bigger imagination than I do. I can tell you that. Just want to see everybody die. Was, was that three people with spy handers that all died? Or was that just like, um, one person dying over and over again with the spy hander? Might have been. I don't know. Hurrah for pointless. Uh, the other side, I'm pretty sure, has an item, though. Uh, yeah, it is. It's a chest with something mildly useful, but not at the same time. Yeah, because, I mean, if I was a sorcerer, that is still mildly useful, but at the same time, it's completely not. Those bonfire ascetics, though, I, I'm going to need one of those still to go. It's the uh, Brightstone Cave for uh, Tildora. That's why I think carefully. Choose life. That's what they're trying to say here. Don't jump. Please don't jump. But, what was I going to say about the looking glass night? I'm really, I'm really happy that I got that over with. Because I don't know what it is, but I mean, oh no, that's what it was, is that they fixed the audio problem. I'm pretty sure that was with a patch that they just... No, 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 there's, I didn't actually check if it was like that, because I mean, settings, game options. <laughs> Music volume, sound effect volume, voice volume. If I would have had that down all the way then I would know for sure if it, they actually fixed the problem or not. I want to say they, they patched the game and fixed it, though. Because what it was before is that if you have your uh, volume, like, all the way down in the game, that attack would put the volume up all the way, and it destroys your ears. It just destroys your ears. I'm pretty sure there's no illusionary walls in here still, too. <laughs> oh, Dark Souls community, you like to troll me ever so much. But I'll, I'll accept your trolling and raise you a nickel. Hurrah for hole, and then try tight spot. Yes. Yes. Very much so. Uh, yeah, there's an item over here. I have to swing horizontally, because, I mean, it makes you look really cool. Also, then, the guy in Clock Town actually gives you more points. But, who's to say what gives you more points in the Dark Souls universe? Actually, that, exactly. Just doing that gives you more points. And here we go. I'm in the Shrine of Amana. The place that, I mean, I actually kind of like this place. It's, it's very, it's very calming. Listen to that. Ah. <sighs> but there's no time for calm because I need to go and light this bonfire and go back to Majula to level up. Then it is time for some Amana. Some delicious Amana. Yes. Whatever that could mean. <laughs>